Mr. Barra. Mr. Lewis. Miss Henricks. Miss Williamson. Uh, Miss Graham. Allison Dolan. Miss Mall. Miss Tisher. Miss Burnett. Mr. Winfrey. Miss Bass. Mr. Fink. Miss Lynch. Mr. Freeman. Miss Ford. Coach Hunger. Miss Henderson. You know, all of my teachers have impacted me greatly. Actually, in fifth grade, we got to write letters to ourselves for when we graduated. And I actually, this since I since we had graduation, my mom found it in one of our old scrapbooks, and I got to open it up. And Miss Henricks had us write what we wanted to do. And I had actually dreamed back in fifth grade that I wanted to go to the U of A and I wanted to become a vet. Mr. John Stewart, he was an awesome teacher. He was my AP U.S. History teacher, and he um, helped me a lot. And he knew I had track, so he would give me extra help, and then Miss Lynch, Miss uh, Miss Hendersey, they were all great teachers to me. My definition of a great teacher is just having that great relationship. You can always have a teacher that can tell you what to do, when to do it, and how you do it, but if you don't have that relationship, how can you get it done? And then uh, Miss Dolan, she was always like my second mom to me ever since I was a sophomore. She was the student council advisor when I was first uh, here at Springdale. Miss Mall, um, she's always uh, cares about education. She always tries to find new ways to um, teach other students and to reach out to the community and show, especially girls, you know, engineering isn't just for men. And so I'm really always really grateful for her. She always motivates me. The other day she sent me a text message, oh, I'm so proud of you. I can't wait for you to start college. You're going to be great. And so just th little things like that always mean so much. Uh, one of my teachers, Ms. Bass, like, we've done a lot of stuff together, like Islander Club and also like, I've been to a lot of different field trips with them, and I've got to know her real pretty good. And I take her like a second mom because she's helped me in a lot of ways inside and outside of the classroom. My dream changed actually when I came here to Harvard. I got, I was blessed enough to um, take two sciences as a sophomore, and I was introduced to the wonderful Mariana Hendersey, and she taught me in AP Biology and she opened me up to so many, just the world of science, and I found out that I loved it, and she helped me in AP Biology, and I took pre-AP Chemistry that year as well, and I went on to take AP Chemistry, and then Regular Physics, and I also took the AP Environmental Test, so I'm able to come in to the U of A with so many hours of science, and I've just found that science is my way to go, and I'm gonna go into Biological Engineering with a Sustainability minor. In kindergarten, I had uh, I don't really remember her name. I had some teachers. I think it was Miss Ibarra, actually, an ESL teacher. She helped me with my English, which was very instrumental for me. Um, if I don't know English, then you know how am I going to be able to, you know, study? And so she was always very instrumental to me. Um, I had a lot of people. Miss Ford at, at J.O. Kelly. She always, you know, she's really all about her students, and she makes sure all her students get the best that they, you know, what they deserve. And she always watches out for everybody. And then, of course, Mr. Winfrey, who coaches the Gearhogs, that's a lot of work. And so, you know, I'm always grateful to him because if it wasn't for the Gearhogs, I wouldn't also be a person who I, w who I am today. Business management as part of my IB classes, and so Ms. Williamson was very, um, she kind of shaped me towards that. And she's a great friend and great mentor to me. Um, some of the activities I've done while I was in Springdale were uh, student council, uh, basketball, service learning. Those activities impacted me just because um, it inspired me to be a leader. I feel like my voice matters to everybody and I just feel like once I was involved with all those activities I could be that leader for everybody. I went to engineering camp and I mean I threw the biggest fit ever because my parents made me go but it, it was really mind, uh, life changing and it opened my mind up to a lot of different new ideas that I shouldn't just be thinking of one thing, of one possibility I could do with my life. I'm interested in marketing and public relations. Um, I first got involved with DECA in ninth grade and I think that really opened me to different opportunities and what I was good at and just my different skills that I, was, that I could use in the real world. Well, sports taught me like a lot of patience, and if I want something done, I have to be, I can't, I can't quit what I'm doing. Got to keep going at it and stay determined. I got to work really closely with our amazing leadership here at Harvard, Dr. Brackett and Ms. Tisher. They just helped me find out what it meant to be a leader and to serve people. They've opened me up to many speaking experiences that helped me when I went to the U of A, how I got to talk to my professors and 
just being around the adults with authority helped me figure out how I'm supposed to interact with those kind of people. All the AP courses I took were uh, pushed me and I had to work hard and stay on top of it and I know that's how college will be and being in track will definitely be a struggle because school I'll always have to have time for that and I'll have to balance it and having a job also helped me learn how to balance school and track. Our class sizes are very small and so we built that kind of family relationship. All of us are friends and so we all support each other and we're all, we know what we're going through and um, the teachers know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Yes, well, Springdale I feel like it's just one big family. I mean no matter what happens we're always together. Everybody knows each other, we're just one big family and that's what I really love about Springdale. I like having a close relationship with my teachers, coaches, so um, having a close relationship with my teachers helped me because, having, again, being in track, I was able to come in early or come in after school and they were always willing to help me. Um, like their attention, like students need to feel like they have the teacher's attention, like, and they, they have more than just that teacher-student bond, like take them as like a parent, like someone close to them. And that's when they'll start listening to them and working hard in the classroom. But if someone tells you, you know, I'm very proud of you, that means the world to them. I know that meant the world to me, especially, you know, when I was in elementary. The biggest thing for me was that passion to serve and be connected to the students. To know that they actually care and you're not just another face. And that you're not just another person on their roll sheet. The interview for the Honors College, um, it was exactly what I've done in IB. We had a Socratic interview and so there was about six of us and we were sitting at a table and you just answered questions and had a group discussion and that was how they based whether or not you were um, a good fit for the college. The thing I did at, um, in the high school, I met so many people at the University of Arkansas and they all guided me through the path to get my full ride scholarship. I met all these professors who know me and recommended me. They always taught me to try anything. Even if you think you're gonna fail and even if it's out of your comfort zone, to try and to try your best because you never know where it's gonna lead you. With the AP classes and just having that uh, relationship with teachers, um, they taught me the ways about college, what not to do, what to do, and I mean, I think I'll be okay. Spring those taught me a lot.